it's gonna be a long day. Hey everyone, it's Diana. So it's another day off and I thought I would start another uh, week in my life as a dental hygiene student just because this week is kind of crazy for me. <laughs> I'm like at a loss for words being like, Diana, why are you filming this? You should be studying. Don't ask me. <laughs> yeah, so I've just started um, doing my day off list. If you haven't watched my last video, it uh, kind of looks like this. Yeah, I just sat down with my water i'm making my list trying to get ready for these quizzes coming up <laughs> it's gonna be a stressful week i'm like i don't even know what to say other than i hope you see me at the end of this week because <laughs> i don't know if i'll make it or not hey, let me you most of it's gonna be studying for the three quizzes I have on Wednesday, which are, let me think if my brain isn't mush right now, uh, oral health sciences, dental hygiene foundations, and preclinical theory quiz. Yeah, this is gonna be my life as a dental hygiene student. I like making these, I like watching them. So I thought other people would be too. Just to recap, I'm in my first semester in week six. As you can tell, or maybe not, my brain is mush right now and somehow I need to force myself to keep studying. That'll be fun. Oh my god, I look crazy. Oh, oh, oh. I said I was never gonna do this. But here I am cramming for an exam and I'm losing my mind. <laughs> uh, who knew that having three quizzes in one day was going to be this stressful? I definitely should have planned this way better. Again, I'm not wearing any makeup. It's almost midnight and I have quite a few chapters to go. <laughs> I like, don't even know what to do myself. So right now I'm just charging up my iPad dying I've done so many quizlets I just thought I would check in and let you know just how crazy I feel today uh, not only that I I can't even talk about it yet I will once I'm done school and then I can say whatever the hell I want <laughs> but something happened and it totally took up like four or five hours of my day and <laughs> I just wasted a lot of time studying for something that was so stupid. Anyway, I just thought I would share some of my feelings the night before. I have three quizzes. And in my head, they're probably like a lot harder than they actually are. But I feel so unprepared. It's just so much information. And the stuff that was given to us wasn't given, I feel personally, early enough. It's just so, so much information. And this horrible lighting. Um, okay, I'm gonna go get ready for bed. As in, lie in bed and study some more until I pass out. <laughs> One time I found a spider in between my... Speaking of spiders, I just found. Um, I found a spider in between my cushions on my couch and it's probably because I left the cord of <laughs> my heating pad laying on the ground it probably crawled up there so I wrap it up every night <laughs> and leave it there and just double check my cushions every time I sit down. Okay, back to cleaning. <laughs> disgusting 
No, I don't look disgusting without makeup on. I just wanted to use my makeup before it expired, basically. So I wanted to sit down here quickly because uh, I didn't do much today uh, other than study and I had a headache and I just didn't feel like filming and I didn't know what to film. So since I didn't really do anything today and while I wait for my food to defrost in the kitchen, I just thought I would go ahead and show you guys what the actual courses I'm taking this semester as well as the textbooks that go along with it. Actually, a viewer, Alexandra, hi, thanks so much for commenting. She was commenting on my videos and then I just happened to ask what she'd like to see and this is what she requested. Sorry, my table is shaking. <laughs> yeah, I just thought I would stop what I'm doing, take a break, put on makeup, do something for myself and film this for you guys. So I have a little folder, I don't wanna show it to you because it's for my school, but it's just for all my loose leaf papers and stuff like that. I keep it separate from a binder, but you can include it in there if you like i just like to keep all my like important stuff in this folder just so that i know where everything is i don't necessarily take it to school all the time but i just like having it handy so that i can find everything i need about my program quickly i'm gonna go day by day and then tell you guys what classes i have on those days so on mondays i have microbiology radiology and professional issues one but we have this textbook here essential Essential Microbiology for Dentistry. The professor doesn't use anything from this textbook, which is annoying and I wish I had known. <laughs> if you can, maybe wait on purchasing your textbooks until you have at least one class done with. If you can, we weren't given a book list before and because of Corona, I wasn't sure if anything was gonna get in time. My original plan was to get secondhand books. I wasn't sure if I get the books in time, so I just decided to purchase them all as a package from the school included in my tuition. My next class, radiology, it's the dental radiography, radiograph, yeah. Dental radiograph principles and techniques. I'm not going to say the author's names at all because <laughs> I just can't pronounce them. They look like this, fifth edition, if you're curious. Um, but yeah, for radiology, she is actually a really like fast teacher and I can't keep up. So I find it easier for me to read the chapter beforehand, take the notes, and then during her class, just kind of sit there and let the stuff kind of like not wash over me, but like just absorb the information and it helps. Um, with just filling in the missing pieces that I don't understand. I mean, I highly recommend doing that for all your classes, but when you're in a condensed course like I am, I feel like personally I have to pick and choose what I think is important to read ahead of time or read after. I have to kind of decide what way I'm gonna go before a class starts. And then for my last class on Mondays is professional issues and we use the Darby and Walsh Dental Hygiene Theory and Practice. It's a big, thick book. It uses um, this program Evolve, I don't even see. Um, so most of these books are from that same company or uses that same company because I've been told that this textbook specifically is what you mainly study from for your board exam. I would highly recommend purchasing this brand new instead of used just because you want the most recent information as well as there is a little um, code inside the book that lets you register to the website. Each chapter has its own like multiple choice questions you can test yourself on and a lot of the teachers use questions from that website on test. So this textbook, I actually use it for a few different classes. Each class somehow references this textbook. Tuesdays I have Head and Neck and Radiology Lab and Anatomy of Oral or I can't talk to die. And Anatomy of Orofacial Structures is the textbook we use for that one. So after Oral Health Sciences, then I have Dental Hygiene Foundations. Again, we use the Darby and Walsh textbook, that big thick one. Uh, Primary Preventative Dentistry, 8th edition. So yeah, so Darby and Walsh for Dental Hygiene Foundations and this book. And then also, as of now, for what I know, the Dental Hygienist Guide to Nutritional Care. So I'm in Canada and this book is really based off of the American nutritional system that they have over there. So I really don't know how much we're gonna be using this textbook. It really doesn't go with how I eat keto, but whatever. I just gotta keep my head down and pass. <laughs> and then I 
have preclinical. That's the class that we actually learn how to use the instruments, partner care, practice, and then it turns into clinic once we've done preclinic classes. So right now we're using the fundamentals of periodontal instrumentation and advanced root instrumentation. But I do like the actual textbook. It has a gum wrapper in there from when I was chewing away. Favorite page, because I like to panic during assessments. Clock positions and then it goes by what side of the tooth you want to work on. So it tells you exactly where you want to sit to be able to get to those teeth easier. And then how's ergonomics and just really talks about the tools. Lots of pictures, really easy to read. It's a good textbook. Now I do have this one and it's sometimes mentioned. I should probably look at it more, um, but we will be using this more so I'm assuming once we get to the topic, but I'm not sure if I do that in this semester or not. Illustrated Dental, Embryology, Histology, Anatomy. Those are the books so far that we need for our first semester, at least at my school. We also use the Community Oral Health Practice for Dental Hygienist. I've only been told to read one or two chapters out of this, so I'm hoping I have to use it for another class, otherwise I've barely used this textbook. I'm assuming it's going to be more for second semester. And yeah, those are basically all the classes where you need the textbooks for. And first semester of dental hygiene, again, leaving this as like a... This is like my program, so it might be very different. Everything is condensed, so I'm really not sure at what point my program compared to someone in the States or something that takes longer than 18 months. I don't know what their structure is like. And also in my area, we also learn local anesthesia. But yeah, I hope that helped in knowing kind of roughly what classes you'll be taking in the first semester. If you're already started or you already know your schedule, let me know down below if it's any different from mine because I'm really interested in what other classes are teaching first, second, last, whatever. We're gonna go back to studying. I'm here looking like Shrek. I have the Amazon clay, Amazon, Amazonian, no, Indian clay mask. It's in my Amazon favorites or whatever <laughs> video. I'll, I'll link it up here. It is now Friday. I'm like rolling my eyes because it's just been such a gong show and I can't even like, uh, <laughs> stuff only happens to me. I uh, got to school super early. It was like the first night before a lab that I could actually sleep properly and I went to sleep 10, 30, 11 and that's like early because usually I'm like tossing and turning and I can't sleep because I'm afraid I'm gonna be late. <laughs> I don't know how I work, it's just how I work. And I end up walking into the building and you know, you have to sanitize your hands first and so my hands are like super slippery and I have to check her own temperatures don't even get me started on that and the thing just like slipped out of my hand flew across the room batteries went flying it like literally split in half and like there's people waiting behind me so like they can get in to sign in and stuff like that oh my god it was so embarrassing like and i was like dripping sweat from that like already just like having people watch me struggle to like fix this thing and pray that like it's not broken anyway so i go upstairs like that's all sorted with and I think it works. So I go upstairs to change and there's lockers all on the sides of the wall and one little skinny bench, you could say, <laughs> in the center of it. And so usually, I don't know if you can see where this is going, <laughs> I pack my water bottle straight up so that it doesn't leak. It shouldn't leak, it's never leaked before. But for some reason, this morning, I wanted to make sure that my salad was cold for the day and so I packed my <laughs> can of Diet Pepsi on one side, lunch next to it, and then the water bottle with cold water on top. I placed my bag on the little bench and because I guess it's top heavy, it just like flips upside down. I'm like, okay, whatever, it's happened before, it's no big deal. So I just pick it up and then plop it back down onto the bench. And so then I'm opening up my locker and changing and I don't even know how I noticed. I think I went to go drag my bag out of the way for someone else to use that spot and just like water was just like gushing out of my bag and I'm like, oh no. Open up inside, my iPad's wet, working thankfully, but my extensive textbook that I showed you guys yesterday, my textbook for preclinic, 
just completely soaked. Like I have to keep fanning the pages every once in a while because like I don't want it to grow moldy or like stick together. Binder, all my papers, wallet. Thankfully, some of the food was saved, but I keep um, pumpkin seeds in there. Those completely soaked. Yeah, my entire bag was drenched and there was a huge puddle of water. It was so embarrassing. Already, my face is super red and I'm stress sweating from the thermometer smashing on the ground in front of everyone. Now, I'm holding up a huge lineup of people trying to get changed because, mind you, I dragged my bag across the bench, so it got a huge section of the change room wet. Only five people are allowed in at a time, so I had to like run outside and of course, People thinking that I was done, one person goes in and then the change room's at max capacity. But I have to run back and be like, sorry, I'm not, not budging. It's just, I made a huge mess. And I have to like quickly explain myself and be like, yeah, whatever. My bag is still wet and it's been a full 13 hours since that happened. Full 13 hours of my bag soaked. <sighs> but on the bright side, today we were evaluated for our posterior and anterior sicker, sickle scalar. <sighs> Why can't I talk? Whatever, you guys get it. I passed both of them, 100%. So I was really happy with that. Yeah, so that was my day. That was my week. Monday through Fridays are the most interesting parts of my life right now just because of school and on weekends I literally just spend the time studying all day um, you can check out my last video where I just talk about how to organize your day off pretty much all I do is organize my time between studying cleaning and maybe taking like little breaks here and there so I thought I would just leave my week in the life as a dental hygiene student there. <laughs> it's getting harder and harder to make facial expressions because my mask is hardening. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know any ideas you wanna see from me, what you wanna know. I want to tell you guys everything. I just don't know what someone would want to know, if that makes sense, or what you wanna see from me. I'm so excited for all these new people like, subscribing to my channel. I like, I'm, it just like, makes me so happy and it keeps me going and like i'll get an email during like a break in class and i'll just be like yay like someone new subscribed and <laughs> just makes me so excited thanks so much for watching hope you enjoyed this uh shrek face getting darker and darker <laughs> i hope you enjoyed my video again subscribe if you really want to see more videos from me and like this video if you liked it. I really appreciate every single one of you guys viewing my videos. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Sorry, there's something in my eye. So yeah, that was my week.